Guys, we have some exciting, maybe devastating news um, because Kraken's co-founder, Jesse Powell, has been searched by the FBI. His house is raided by the FBI. Now, this actually happened in March, but I didn't really know about it until now. We finally shed some light on the matter. The thing is, like, if you're afraid for a Kraken, this actually has nothing to do with Kraken. It's basically for hacking and cyber stalking from an earlier group that he was actually involved with. But you got to be thinking, you know, if you're a co-founder, if your exchange's co-founder was involved in this, is there something shady with the exchange? I don't know. You know, like a leper doesn't change its spots very often. So I would be just a little bit careful right now. But Kraken is not actually not implicated in any of this. As a part of the search and seizure, the feds uh, took many of his electronic devices, but they have not formally charged him with any um, crimes. So the allegations are just those. They haven't formally challenged, uh, ch charged those, and I'm not really sure if he's going to be brought to court. But it does kind of leave a black mark on the exchange. If one of your co-founders was FBI rated for uh, cyber stalking, and, um, you know, fraud and things like that. So they, they uh, seized various electronic devices from Powell's residence in Brentwood, Los Angeles. While, while this action suggests serious inquiry, it is important to note that prosecutors have not officially charged Powell with any criminal off offenses. So basically, um, his involvement with the group dates back to its inception in 2007 and according to the organization's records, however, his LinkedIn profile indicates that he was held a he has held a position and board member since April 2010, providing some clarification on his role within the nonprofit. Don't really know where the hacking cyber stalking comes in with a nonprofit, but still. Uh, people that are familiar with the matter state that the investigation primarily centers around the claims made by Verge Center for Arts with the with the focus primarily on Powell's alleged actions with the organization. So we'll have more to actually do with this. I think if he's like found guilty of something or if he's charged of something serious, Kraken um, may, be, may be hurt because he is like one of the active co-founders. But they did emphasize that the scrutiny does not extend to Powell's involvement in the cryptocurrency industry, which means it does not actually affect cracking at least not for now but if one of your co-founders gets locked up i'm sure that's not really good for your exchange at all um so yeah not really that great news for crypto kind of exciting news to have like a co-founder's house searched by the feds uh but it doesn't actually have much to do with Kraken, but it might actually get some bad PR because a major crypto figure got his house raided by the FBI and he might have some serious criminal charges with cyber stalking. Uh, of course, he also has a lot to do with this, like, I guess, nonprofit cyber stalking group, which sounds really, really weird. Um, and not really great, but yeah, exciting news nonetheless. I don't think it'll affect Kraken that much unless something serious happens, and I don't think he defrauded anyone. But, you know, keep your eyes peeled for that because, you know, stuff like this does actually travel fast, and it could actually be bad for the exchange if, like, stuff escalates. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.